Hello. Um, I'm up at the wood again. It's um, quite windy. And the pines are really swaying. <laughs> I'm dropping things on me. Um, yeah, it's been raining all morning as well, but it's brightened up now. It still looks like blue sky and grey sky and rain. Blue note sky. Um, yeah, I'm up on my own this time, um, which is nice. It was really nice having a couple of friends up the other day. Um, and it was really nice having someone split wet wood for me, which was brilliant. So I've got a store of wood drying out, which is nice. Um, but it, it, I got a bit discombobulated. All my systems were sort of going wrong because I'm so used to being up here on my own. But it was really nice to have company and it was uh, sweet. But uh, today I'm back up here on my own just to see what there is. Yeah, it's very quiet. It's a faint sound of aeroplane. But um, yeah, I'm going to look for mushrooms, but I haven't seen very many yet. There might be some about. I'm hoping to do two nights, so that would be good. But, uh, I'm in this other spot again where it's much more open and brighter. So as the nights get darker, it catches more light. But that's west facing that way, so the sun's over there at the moment. So I'm hoping it will be a bit brighter and I hope it clears up to get a clear sky but I'm not sure I hear the birds um, I think there's a sparrow hawk here when my friend was here he had his bird um, call app on his phone and we were checking it and it was answering back so that would be interesting if there is I have seen a sort of big greyish looking bird go through the woods but never really got a good um, glimpse of it so it'd be nice to have a look and see what comes up on the trail cam as well. I've just put two really nice eggs out on the stump just to see. I put eggs out before and they've gone but I never caught who it was that was taking them. Probably a fox but um, it'd be quite interesting to see if they get taken and get caught on the cam. quite like my trail cams. <laughs> got two now. Both really cheap, both about £20, but they're not going to last forever. But um, they do catch some bits and pieces. One of them's really playing up, it's flickering the image. So I'm getting stuff on it, but I can't get it into the edit, which is a shame. I hope that wind drops tonight. It's going to be fun with the fire if it stays this windy. It's a nice noise in the trees though. The advantage with this wood, it is really dry. Again, I'm keeping it at quite a distance away from me, so oh, that's nice. There you go. So I don't um, put the mattock in my leg. <laughs> it's um, sorry. Let me do this camera sound. It's handy for me because. I'm not that strong and it's just the weight of the mattock that does it.
And all I do is tip it up. Take it, take it off. Cool. This is uh, one of my favourite tools now. It's this little throw. It's brilliant for making kindling and you don't mash your knife up. Plus. <laughs> you mash your it's, um, it's quite safe because you don't get your fingers in it. Yeah, I really like this uh, fry. Nice little tool. That should be enough. I always try and get the cutting of wood done early because you just never know if it's going to rain and the good old kneeling that is always brilliant. These are worth their weight in gold, these things. They're only a pound. Looks like it's going to rain. It's really got cold, but... Oof. What was funny having friends here the other day was having a really sort of fit, strong young man doing some heavy work for me, which was really nice. But it does bring home that I need to get fitter and stronger. Being here helps because it's all physical work, I call it the green gym, but at the same time I really need to sort of try and build some strength, I think. Um, yeah, everything I do takes quite a long time. He was tearing through wood with the bosal. <sighs> Very grey sky, very blue sky. Blowy wind. That's so sweet. This looks like a struggle. It's just started to rain ever so slightly. Oh well, I'm under my top, so that's okay. The wind's coming, I can hear it. The trees are knocking together. Oh well, everything's done. Got the wood cut, so I can hunker down. I'll just steam my lens up. This is um, a cup of consomme and what I always do with consomme is put a little bit of red wine in it. These are quite nice. Just bring a tin up. And the reason I'm having this is it's suddenly got really chilly and cold. It looks like rain any minute. So this should warm me up. <laughs> I 
Okay, here comes the rain. It's got ever so dark. Just the gentle sound of rain. But I have got my cup of consomme, which is keeping me warm. Which is nice. Oh, it's stopped again. Oh, no, it hasn't. Here it comes. It wasn't supposed to rain this evening. Okay, it's early, but oh, it's cold, so I think I'm going to get this fire going. There's oh, definite chill in there. In fact, the sun's trying to come out again, but after that rain, these are just some shavings that I had at home. Just a bag of shavings, which is quite handy, and it's very dry, so... See if, I can, see if I can get these going. Right, what have I got in here? Well, got some birch bark. I wonder if that will just take with a spark. Be interesting if it did. Oh, got lots of it. But this finer stuff, it's quite shredded. Just wondering if that will. Very dry. I'm just wondering if that will take a spark. Ah, I have got a bit of jute. I've got a tiny bit. My favourite thing. I bet you that will go. Oh, no, nah, don't get your birch bark wet. It's rain still coming. It's raining a little bit on this fire, but let's see. That jute usually. That's the trick. So I've got my friendly Swede. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I love this little highlighter. It's cool. Let me get it going. Yay! And then that'll go. That'll definitely go. So. Go away, rain. Right now, I don't need you. So, a bit of a funny dinner tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's quite a good little fire still there, the friendly Swede. I like it because it's long. It's got quite a decent striker on it. Be careful I don't set something else I like here. Didn't really a lot of little fine bits up so I'm hoping I've got a bit more birch bark if I need it oh go away rain right now I don't need rain go on I might, uh, I might lose it Some, you never know. Ah, smoke. 
I think I nearly lost it then. Oh, that birch bark smoky. Oh my goodness, what's it doing over there? <laughs> Up, isn't it? The wind's blowing in a completely wrong direction. Oh. I think I might have got that. That's what I got. Oh, I was lucky there, I had a little bit of dew. I didn't realise I had any in my bag. Really fine bits of oh well that can all stay in. I think this is gonna go. Okay, I've got a bag of oh, you can see but not squash, which I put uh, olive oil and salt and pepper. I'm going to put those on the grill. Turn this round. I'm not going to have them all tonight, but I can seal this up a bit. Whoa, smoke. Save the rest for tomorrow. Right. Let's be bold a bit. So while that's doing, plate spinach with a bit of olive oil on. which I've run out of. <laughs> oh well, it'll be enough. And I haven't got any vinegar to go with my olive oil, so I'm just going to put a little bit of wine over. I forgot to bring the dressing, so no, that'll do. Olive oil and wine. Okay, chicken, spinach, and squash. Let's see what this is like. I'm a bit overdone on the. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Really nice. Really nice way of oh, it's hot. <laughs> mm. Really nice way to do butternut squash. It's lovely. Mm. And spinach. That was actually really filling. The uh, butternut squash done like that is really nice. But whew, I think I put too much on the fire. I'm absolutely stuffed now after that. Yeah, it's nice though. So the owls are awake. Mm. 
And that might be the sparrowhawk. Seem to have another rainy morning. The sunshine. It's really started to come down. Rainy old morning. I left those mushrooms out last night, the ones that I didn't eat. But somebody's having a good time with them. I think it's probably the slugs. So I've changed the card on my trail cam and I hope I think I got something last night but I'm not sure what it was it was in the dark I'll have to have a look when I go home this one was really cheap it was only about 20 quid but it uses an SD card which I sort of prefer in a way my other one uses a micro card and seems to be a bit of a problem with it. it seems to be corrupting so I'm going to leave it and then when I'm back up I might take it home and try and dry it out and have a look at it see what the issue is uh, suddenly some nice sunshine again funny weather <laughs> 